Welcome to Real Physics. This is a series of short clips about fundamental speculations and dark matter is certainly something to wonder about. Now, I should say I'm not dismissive towards the idea to begin with because once it was discovered that there was something wrong with masses in galaxies, it's a quite natural idea to think, okay, there could be some matter which is undetected. And I don't want to go into the history now, but we have clear evidence and the best evidence is rotation curves of galaxies that these velocities at the outer parts are far too elevated to be explained with visible mass. So this is clear evidence and we have hundreds of these galaxies. But there is also a couple of contradictions which indicate that it's probably not a missing particle here, but something deeper. And one of the speculations which became well known is modified Newtonian dynamics or MOND and it pretty nicely fits the data so far. So I'm not a particular fan of MOND either. There would be a lot to say about the theory but there is one big accomplishment. What Milgram discovered is that all these anomalies occur at a certain acceleration scale. That means if the centripetal acceleration which is needed to keep the outer stars of the galaxies or even the clouds to keep them on their orbits you need of course a force and a corresponding acceleration and where dark matter occurs is precisely at the scale of 10 to the minus 10 meters per second squared and this is very remarkable. Do not find that only at the edges of galaxies but also in global cluster and many other instances. So I think this is the big insight of MOND that you don't look at the distance and you don't look at the mass but you consider just this intriguing acceleration scale. This is where new physics probably happens. Now you could argue, okay, this is a free parameter to fix the data, which it is, but there is another thing which is very intriguing. This acceleration scale, 10 to the minus 10 meters per second, is roughly the same order of magnitude than the speed of light divided by the age of the universe, or if you want, the speed of light squared divided by the radius of the universe. Just coincidence? We don't know. I wouldn't believe it's just coincidence. I'm not endorsing the theory of Mond, but I think this is something we should pay attention. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like it. And if you're interested in fundamental physics of this kind, subscribe to this channel.